Hello, welcome to Quack Love. Thank you for being here. I thought today I'd give you a preview of Dive by Sit Down Games. Uh, this is currently available, or at least going to be available very soon. Link in the top of the video description, like always, whenever we're talking about titles. Now, you might notice this isn't actually my studio space. I'm visiting my grandparents for the very first time in the past year, uh, responsibly so. We all have been vaccinated, and I figured I'd come film a few videos at the handmade Lincoln Log Cabin that my grandfather built. All the furniture you can see behind me, the ladder going up to the top loft, all of this was made by hand uh, by him primarily and his family as well down here in Kentucky. But today we're talking about Dive, we're talking about this interesting little game that is playing with a brand new mechanic system that I don't think I've seen any other games really utilize or play with. You see, Dive is going to be all about digging into and sinking down to the bottom of the ocean depths, doing your very best to collect and grab a stone from the uh, trenches of the Dark Sea. It is a beautiful game where you're peering down through a series of transparent tiles, doing your very best to determine where the manta, ray, manta rays, the sea turtles, and the sharks are located. You're then going to be placing hidden bids on the back of your diving board. Uh, not a diving board, like a bling diving board, but, a, but a, a board that's representing your lung capacity, you holding your breath and sinking down into the ocean. You're going to be placing bets uh, down onto that board, determining how far and how deep you think each of the different separate icons are going to be. Do you think a shark is three transparent levels deep? Do you think a sea turtle is four or five? You're going to be bidding, trying your best to score points based off of what you get correct until you are the one that is able to journey the farthest down, collect that sacred stone and rise back up through the ocean waves, clutching it in your hand and competing or collecting for victory. It's going to be a quick, I believe, four, one to four, or two to four player game that plays in my experience around 15 minutes or so. Now, the game is simple. It's not an aggressively heavy game, but the thing for me that is so intriguing or complex about what it's doing is the way that it interacts with that new transparent model. I, I really haven't seen a game that plays with this sequence in the way that Dive is working with. You have this stack of shuffleable pieces of artwork in blue transparent plastic that you can peer through. It's a little murky, it's a little hazy, but you can definitely get a sense of what you're looking for, how far down you think it is, and you can definitely make educated and strategic guesses around where those different locations and items are. Now that's just the base game, and the prototype that I have here, and the expansions that'll come out, my hope is for more artwork, more interaction with the tiles, and more strategic choices over how you're peering through, or what you're looking at. But that atmosphere that it sets up, like looking over the edge of a boat, peering down into the murky depths, that feels, that comes through, that for me, shines. Now, this game isn't overly complex, it's not highly strategic, and I would venture to guess you're not going to sit down and play 12 sessions of it in a single round. It's going to be a one or two game, 15 to 30 minute experience that I'm excited to show people. I can't wait to pull it off the shelf and let them see how beautiful and interesting a game can be. But I'm not that interested or that sold on the mechanics of the game. I want more. Right now you can get companions, animals like uh, a, a whale or uh, larger sea turtles that you can place down onto the board to change or manipulate the way people are observing or how much time they have left before they need to make their bids. And that adds a little bit of level and fun to the game. But for me, this game is all about something beautiful, something that is simple, but really, really interesting to engage with. It's not heavy, it's not strategic, but it is an experience. And experientially, I really like what's happening here. The best parts of Dive are going to be the moments where you're able to look into this beautiful picture. It reminds me in some ways of Canvas, how you're creating and adding layers and levels to a piece of artwork. You'll look through and see a giant sea serpent, partially obscuring a shark, some reeds and gills, a sea turtle hiding just beyond the uh, you know, floor or the plant life that exists there. You'll see one tucked under another and do your very best to determine is one higher or lower. 
and where do I place my bets to try to win? And then as you pull off the tiles, you get to see the separated piece of artwork, the beauty of all the art that you're pulling, the uh, reward and the feeling when you are actually able to match your bid with what you actually observed. If you hit three, four, or five going deeper into the ocean than anyone else around the table, that moment feels rewarding. You read and observed and even bet on the artwork correctly. I think Dive is absolutely lovely. Now, who won't it be right for? Well, I already dug into this, and I have to be honest, I've played with some friends who have expressed that it's maybe not the perfect game for them. So it seems worthwhile to identify and talk about that. It is a game that for me is all about the experience of playing, the new mechanic, the gimmick in some regards that you get to journey with. It is lovely to look at and observe, but maybe not the most strategically deep or complex game. I think it's definitely on the edge of innovative, and I think it is certainly uh, something that many families, especially those that love the ocean and love looking down through sea reefs, would probably get to the table and enjoy and might bridge them on to some other titles uh, in the genre or some other games in the conversation. But if you're looking for something that is uh, both utilizing a new mechanic or a new theme uh, in a way that is directly and proportionally strategic, I'd keep an eye for what expansions, what modules, what variations are gonna be available for Dive. I hope that there's more. I'd love more play on the tiles. I'd love more interaction with the players around the board, more control over your bid or an ability to double down and add more sea life and creatures, an expansion with additional transparencies that add in more complexity or separate pockets with bubbles and open gaps of sea floor. There's a little bit of that right now, but I'd love more of everything that Dive is offering. At the moment, it feels very experiential, feels like something you show to people once and you really enjoy that show. But I think it does need a bit more for heavier gamers to return and pull it down to the table time and time again. Whatever the case, whatever you do, I hope you enjoyed this quick little preview of Dive. And remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games. I'll see you next time. Thank you.